Okay, so in this video we take care about that uh, seconds pointer here. Um, let me first hide uh, some stuff here that we put on a layer. Let's put the logo on the layer 2 here um, by right click add selected objects. And now let's create a polygon cylinder here. Mm, let's uh, rotate that guy in X 90 degrees. And then uh, yeah, we want to scale this down. Like that, so let me go to the top view and frame in on that. So this has to be scaled down, way down, way down. Um, rotate that guy to... I think that's that should work fine. So now we take care about this little arrow here. Um, let's create a polygon cube and we move this guy up here and let's scale that guy down, let's go to the side view frame in on that and let's scale this guy down and now let's uh, take care about um, the subdivisions of that cylinder Go here to inputs and set the subdivision axis to 8. And we also might want to rotate that guy. Um, let's rotate that in Z 22.5 degrees so that uh, the side up here is uh, horizontally. And now let's um, go to, this, to the side view, uh, frame in on that. Let me turn on wireframe and shade it. And then select those vertices here, move those in Y, and the middle mouse V um, over that vertex there. We do the same on the side here. Okay, so now we have the same height level here. Um, what we now want to do is let's check out. <coughs> Okay, let's insert a few edge loops here. Um, select one edge here. Um, control, right click, edge ring utilities, edge ring and split. Set um, under the inputs uh, the split type to multi. And uh, yeah, we could go in and say we want to select this edge loop that we just made here, move it in uh, X and then middle mouse over uh, hit V and middle mouse over this vertex here. And we do the same with this one on the other side. V, middle mouse. Okay, so yeah, we get one thing done. So let's uh, insert a few edge loops here. So select this edge, control, right click, and again set the split to multi. And now we can and we can just leave it like it is for now <coughs> so now we got one two three four eight vertices here and we should have eight vertices to connect here on that cylinder and that's uh, exactly what I want so I'm deleting faces now so delete one two three faces here on this thing and then we delete um, the faces here on that cylinder only the top cap faces here so select those oh, it's hard to see yeah only those faces uh, and then delete those and now we're using um, the bridge, bridge tool again so uh, first of all we have to combine those objects uh, so the bridge tool won't work on two different objects. So select both objects, combine those, and then go in and say s double click on that border edge here, shift double click on the other one, and then say mesh, uh, edit mesh bridge. And there you go, we got that connected. Um, so now we take care about the shape of it. So go to the top view and select those vertices here, scale those in and move those up and now we um, yeah we move uh, this all those vertices here move those up 
and what I see from this point on it's way too large but uh, that won't be a problem so let's um, select the object and uh, rotate that so the, into the position of the background image so that we have an idea how large that arrow has to be um, I hit plus on my keyboard to um, to enlarge the uh, the scale tool or the uh, rotation tool so that's the plus uh, next to your numpad okay so now let's move those vertices uh, let me scale down my move tool here so hit minus on my keyboard put it here and select those vertices scale those into position somewhere about here and then we take those vertices here move those down uh, somewhere about here and scale those in so now let's check out how that looks um, in the perspective view and especially when we smooth that hit a 3 so yeah that looks kinda ugly but that's not a problem um, what we want to do now is add a, uh, some splits more so go in here and say add a split somewhere about here hit 3 that's looking better on here so um, take a look at that split oh uh, you know you know what just to let me undo uh, that split and let me go in and say select one of uh, this edge here and then control right click to edge ring and split and now let's let's do the same on the on the other side here select that hit a G to repeat that and now let's uh, select those vertices here and the corresponding four so that you get eight uh, vertices selected and then move move those out somewhere about here so now let's hit a three on the keyboard okay let's look in good so now we need to add one edge loop here and we need one here so hit a three Go to object mode and yeah it's looking it's looking good um yeah I'm going with this arrow type here okay so the next thing that we do um, let me take a look at the watch here oh that's um, yeah I think I'm gonna pause this video and in the next one we take care about the uh, the end part of that so that's um, you take a closer look on, on, on that piece here or if you go to the website or look at the other pictures pictures from that watch you see this is a kind of cylinder type that's connected to the end of that seconds pointer and there's also um, uh, a cylinder here in the middle of that um, thing so yeah that's what we're gonna do in the next lesson okay so yeah see you